This is the season that some say it's good to be jolly. Fa la 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 la, la 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 la. Ba humbug. Merry Christmas, the people say. Think over, my beloved black brothers and sisters, and you, white people of intelligence, how you make mockery of a divine man of God on a day that you say that he was born. You sell more whiskey, wine, and beer on his birthday than at any other time during the year. There's more drunkenness, more revelry, more debauchery, more filth and indecency practiced by the people on a day supposedly set aside as a holiday, which means a holy day. But there is nothing holy about the 25th of December and the way the so-called Christian people celebrate the birth of a man that they say is the savior of the world and God in person. Christmas, you say. <laughs> Joy to the world. The Lord is come. I don't know about that. My dearly beloved black brothers and sisters, my Puerto Rican brothers and sisters, you follow this holiday blindly. Very few people have ever reflected on why they believe what they believe or why they follow the customs that they follow or where the customs came from. Very few people have asked the question, where did Christmas come from? Is it from Jesus? Is it from his disciples? Is it prophesied of in the scriptures? Is it ordered in the scriptures by God that we should follow such tradition or holiday? We challenge all you religious teachers. Go find it in the scriptures where Jesus said, this is the day I was born. I want all of you to have a day of feasting and joy on my birthday. Go find it. Find out where Santa Claus came in at. If it's Jesus' day, how come Santa moved Jesus out? Children aren't looking for Jesus, they're looking for Santa. If you told them Jesus was coming down the chimney, they'd say, send him back. I'm looking for Santa. That's a shame. Look at the lie that you tell. Poor black mother, black father, working hard all year long can't give the children the nice little toys that children desire. You tell them, wait, Sonny. Wait, Lulu. Wait till Christmas time. And if you're a good little boy and a good little girl, Santa's gonna bring it to you. 
And you wait till your little boy and girl eyes have gotten drowsy with sleep waiting up for Santa. You tell him Santa won't come as long as your eyes are open. They say, but we want to see him and thank him for what he gave us last year. So when the little baby's eyes close in sleep and mom and dad rush to where they have the goodies hidden, bring it all out and place it under a tree and wait joyously around for the children to wake up in the morning and run to the tree and look at what Santa gave them. When did Christmas originate? Does Christmas really celebrate the birthday of Christ? Was Jesus born on December the 25th? Did the original uh, apostles who knew Jesus personally and were taught by him celebrate his birthday on December the 25th or did they celebrate it at all? If Christmas is the chief of the Christian holidays, why do so many non-Christians observe it? Why do people exchange presents with the family members, the friends, and the relatives at Christmas time? Was it because the wise men presented gifts at Christmas? Why are there candles lit in your window? Why are there lights on your tree? Where did the tradition of the tree come from? Why are the little balls on your tree and tinsel on your tree? Why is the virgin mother and her child so talked about more so at any other time than this time right now? The Madonna and her child. Where did that come from? You say, Father Khan, you're breaking up our holiday. No, just breaking up your ignorance. Now, wait a minute, mother. Hold it. Don't you get to that radio and turn it away just because your son is listening and you had told a lie and got the, you know, the toys all stashed away. Little boy, go look at your little black mother and your little black father and tell him, Daddy and Mommy, you're the real Santa Claus. Where you got the stuff stashed? And my dear brother, to see you walking around with a red suit on and a white beard and your black face talking about ho, 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 somebody ought to take a hoe and smack you upside your foolish head. the ho, 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 ringing bells. <laughs> what a fool they have made you. Got a, a pillow in your stomach and one in your back. And feathers in your head. I'm about ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everyone. We are all laughing here because we know better. And I hope you are laughing out there too because you are learning better. According to the Encyclopedia Britannica in the 1946 edition, it reads on Christmas, Christmas was not among the earliest festivals of the church. It was not instituted by Christ or the apostles or by Bible authority. It was picked up afterward from paganism. End quote. Uh-oh. 
it was picked up from where? Paganism. Let us see if that is true. You say, oh no, I'm not a pagan. You just fight me. Did I lose you? I want you to listen. If you notice, the first, second, third, and fourth century, there was no such thing as Christmas. Christmas began to be celebrated in the fifth century, and it started from the Roman Catholic Church and then spread. But there is no authority in Scripture for the celebration of Christmas. It started among the Roman Catholics in the 5th century after Jesus was dead. Are you listening? Around December the 25th, there were several pagan holidays that used to be celebrated. One of them was called Brumalia, which came on December the 25th. The other was Saturnalia, which took place between December the 17th to the 24th. And there is another called the winter solstice. Are you listening? These so-called festivals in the pagan world dealt with the pagans' worship of the sun. Now this Brumalia that took place on December the 25th was a festival of merrymaking. And the old pagans used to enjoy this merrymaking, fun-making, all of this, you know, playing pranks on one another around this time. So when Christianity finally became the religion of Rome, the Romans did not want to give up of Christ. Since Christ is called the Son, S-O-N, of God. Then they said, let us incorporate our worship of the Son God, S-U-N, to correspond with our holidays. So here you are, 1974, supposedly real devout Catholics, devout Protestants, devout Anglicans, devout Methodists, devout Episcopalians, devout Christians, not realizing that you are devout pagans. Joy to the world, is the season to be jolly? Uh, Tra-la-la-la-la. -la 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 -la. <laughs> Not today. Truth has come. Falsehood must 